Some are it's to make sure that NASA's planned new super rocket can make it safely off the launch pad someday. And this test was done out at the uh, old space shuttle launch pad 39B out there. And before NASA launches this new rocket, it's launching some water. A whole lot of water. This water deluge test at launch pad 39B last month is a critical step on the path President Trump has chosen for American space exploration. This time, we will not only plant our flag and leave our footprint, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond. For years now, NASA has been building and testing its new SLS rocket, designed to send astronauts to the moon and Mars. When the rocket finally launches, the newly tested water system will activate just before liftoff. The SLS rocket is so powerful and so loud that when the booster rockets and main engines light up, the sound waves could actually damage or destroy the rocket itself as it's going up. The water absorbs the sound waves and protects the ascending rocket and astronauts. The test created a pillar of water about 100 feet tall, with 450,000 gallons flowing through new and modified piping in a few seconds. And that new rocket is scheduled to launch as early as the end of next year, two years behind schedule. At the Kennedy Space Center, Dan Billow, West 2 News.